Look, they put up flags here in our media park for a China national holiday. Did I tell you guys that they closed line 13 for the holiday? I'm not sure why line 13 and why not any of the other ones in the metro, but only line 13. <laughs> it, it, maybe it's not as important as the other lines, I don't know. But anyway, just biking to the bus stop to uh, go and see my friend. Good morning guys, I've got to say good morning. Good morning, right now I'm out again. I just, uh, I had a shower and I put on my clothes and then I am, um, I was supposed to meet my friend here but he's not here, surprise. So I should go and find him and then we're gonna go to another friend's house uh, or I think we're gonna go for lunch first and then we might cook later or we'll just go for lunch or we'll just cook. I'm actually not really sure but uh, <laughs> anyways just come with me and we'll see. Okay so my friend and I misunderstood each other and he went to another bus stop so I'm just gonna wait for the bus here. So noisy sorry for that. I'm just gonna wait for the bus here we're gonna get onto the bus and then I'm gonna text him and then he's gonna get on at the next stop and then we're gonna go together. There are so many buses in China, but when you need your bus, it's definitely not gonna come. <laughs> this is just destiny or karma. What did I do last night? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. We can take two minutes uh, looking at my beautiful kitty. Oh, if you can see it. There we go. I got my bus card here, so you can use it for the bus and the metro. It's really convenient. And then I have it in this one because I tend to throw things away. Not on purpose, of course, but I have this around my neck <clears throat> and then I bring this around and yeah, it's only in China I'm gonna wear it. In Denmark, my French would bully me, so <laughs> I only have it for China, but it's really convenient. We got a bear restaurant here, I don't know if you can see, it's a bear, it's just called Bear. Don't come to China and think that you can't find any clean, cool places. Like, this is really cool. This is like the modern Chinese people eating in these places. And yeah, you can see the menu outside here. Uncle! Look what we just discovered in the shopping mall. It's 25 degrees outside, but who cares? You know, when you wanna do ice skating, you wanna do ice skating. You just go to the mall. Yeah, you just go to the mall. Yeah! Right now we're just waiting um, to get into uh, Uncle's restaurant here, Uncle 5. Yeah. We're not sure why it's number 5. Luke, do you have any idea why was it not why is it Uncle 5? So many uncles in this country just, <laughs> you know, they're like Uncle 5 is the best uncle. We're yeah. just going to make a restaurant in his name. Uncle I would, 5. So I would do I would do 6 or like 8 for a happy number, but a good number, but yeah, Oh. Go oh, oh, oh. All right, our, about to eat guys, bye. Yeah, our friend is standing in line for us while we're watching the children playing. So exciting. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Oh. 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 Wow. She's here. The story about this uh, restaurant is that there are five uncles together. It makes more sense now, yeah. They have the little uh, story here in front, so you can uh, Oh, look! Oh my god. So, what was it translated? It's translated into honeyed yam with osmantis. Yes! The first thing ready to eat. Hi. Right. Yeah, my English is so poor. Cool. <laughs> 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 this is good. I still so much. <laughs> so we get the, we receive the dessert before we get the actual food. <laughs> they call this Napoleon cake. Yeah. But yeah. It looks very interesting. Why is there a tomato on top? <laughs> it's not a tomato. It looks like a tomato. <laughs> It's, it's a tomato! Your, it's your, it's your, it's your, it's your is it a tomato? Right? No. Yeah. No, that's definitely not a tomato. Yeah, because I saw it on cake before in Dongbei. They also put the tomato on the cake. Yeah. Really? And then they put the huolongua on the pizza. Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> dragon fruit. Put the it's dragon great. fruit on the pizza that's and they put it on. Huh? <laughs> 
，对，土豆就是丹麦的米饭。这个、是啊，那这个这个是啥？这个是呃东坡肉炖子鸡，或者叫炖子鸡东坡肉。啊、哦，然后是哪个肉呢？烤肉，炭烤，好像是炭烤肉。嗯、哦。皇帝，皇帝，皇帝是吧？不是，也也可以。<笑> This is the Chinese way of eating cake. Can't give up. Now I eat. Eat well. Okay. I eat hot rolls. Superman. Very powerful person. Then. 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 写不下来，写不下来。Right now we're just learning how to say thank you for not killing me. Yeah. It's very important in our friendship here. It's very very important actually. Yeah. It's really scary. Yeah. Sorry, dude. I'm not gonna eat with you tonight because you're from Sichuan and I don't like that food. Oh. Oh, la mesa. Spicy, spicy sister, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Spicy little sister. They also use this for beautiful girls from Sichuan. Uh, pretty funny. That's the name of the restaurant. <laughs> it's like a playground, and we also got a fruit restaurant. It's like a, it's an adventure in the Chinese mall. <laughs> and it's so big. I think we're up on the sixth floor now. The children are jumping over there. You know, sometimes they don't go to school in China. <laughs> And then we got here. Oh my lord. This is so cool. What the? <laughs> then we have the spicy fish. That one is pretty cool too. But wow, this is a party in here. Fashion taste restaurant. Right. Interesting. <laughs> the translations can be pretty funny sometimes. But it looks more like a club. I don't know. I think it looks like a club. And then somebody is playing a piano over here. Wow. Like, what is not going on here? I wouldn't be surprised if a horse suddenly comes around as well. I feel like that's the setting for this uh, shopping mall. Oh, we can see the bakers. The baking. Are they making the dumplings? <laughs> And then we get fruit and juice. The best juice store in town. Wow. Oh, they misspelled it though. Fruit actually, can you see it? Fruit actually. And of course, Luke is gonna make trouble. You can't stay in there. <laughs> take care, take care, take care. <laughs> there we go, wow. Uh, I think this is Lao Beijing, right? Lao Beijing, yeah. It's just a little big here, you know? Like the Chinese malls, always big. Wow. Wow, we got some deer here as well. Holy moly, and more restaurants. I think the Chinese are more for restaurants than they're actually for shopping, you know? They basically come here just to eat. It's Thai. Oh, it's Thai food again. No. Yeah, Cheng. I don't know. But there is a big bear and a deer. Wow. This is a little forest. We got a little forest here. And just before we're leaving the mall, just gonna show you this advertisement. Wow, okay, guys, that was so much fun. I was with my two friends all afternoon and we were just like chatting and learning new things in Chinese, the Chinese Chengyu, the Chinese, um, how do you translate that, like idioms or something like that? Shuofa, like, um, I don't know, <laughs> you can look it up. Anyway, uh, now I'm just on my way back to my dorm and I just received the message from another Chinese girl who asked me if I wanted to go to the bar tonight and I was actually thinking that I should stay home and do nothing, but the thing is, you know, when you have... Oh my god, it's so it's noisy here. The thing is, when you uh, make new friends, like, I feel like it's important to go out in the beginning and socialize. They seem to ask us uh, foreigners, I think, because 
they don't really uh, yeah I don't know just they're just not used to it but they're very curious about it there is another girl she just like wants to drink every single day and I'm like I don't really drink anymore I just go to the bar to like dance I have fun I meet new people and stuff but it's just kind of funny like these cute Chinese girls they want to go crazy <laughs> Um, well, some of them seem to just be really curious about the whole bar culture, just want to go and, and see what's going on, and they like dancing, so that's cool too, so I might go out tonight. Not sure yet, but I might, just for the fun of it, you know, because we have vacation anyway, and I don't have anything to do tomorrow, so yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs>